Lieutenant Colonel Waltman from Fort in Town Gap with uh, information on the events and activities back at the Gap. Well, we're into the uh, our heavy season of training at Indian Town Gap this week. Uh, just under 6,000 individuals training back there. Uh, next week, over 8,000 individual week training at Fort in the Intown Gap. Uh, in the month of June, uh, we have explosives demolition, uh, a full schedule of explosives demolition training from the 8th to the 13th, 15th and 16th, and then the 19th to the 29th of June. Mortar fire coming up on the 10th to the 12th, and then artillery fire on the 21st to the 23rd. And Folks in the area may see increased or hear increased activity uh, back at the Gap. Uh, I always like to uh, identify and, and highlight the uh, support that we receive from the local community, the local fire departments, and then the support that we, the mutual aid we provide. Uh, for the fiscal year so far uh, to the uh, townships in the northern part of the county, to Union Township 32 times we've been called off post and to East Hanover Township 26 times. Uh, in the month of May, uh, three auto accidents uh, in East Hanover Township and then uh, three medical assist, assists in the Union Township. And because of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the highway network out there, those responses are mainly into East Hanover Township and Union Township. I wanna highlight a, uh, a PennDOT construction or refurbishing bridge replacement on Route 443 on Fort in Town Gap. During the week of the 20th of June, what we'll be doing is on Asher Minor Road Bridge, which is on 443 as you're beginning the hill going up to Moonshine Church and over the mountain. That bridge will be replaced uh, and closed that road, but what we're gonna be doing is there's a tank trail uh, just off the side of the road, we'll be paving that as a, as a bypass to the bridge. So the week of the 20th of June, we'll start paving a portion of the tank trail uh, that the public vehicles will be traveling on and we'll be setting barriers there also. On the 5th of July, a temporary signal light will be in place and traffic will be diverted onto that tank trail. Uh, we'll have a press announcement for that in the next few days to put that information out to the public. And then in the, the end of July, the Clement Avenue Bridge, as you're coming 443 from the west onto post, that bridge uh, uh, reconstruction and replacement will begin, but that will remain open with one lane access uh, at all times for the duration of that project. So beginning uh, the 20th of June, we'll do that paving uh, on our tank trail, and then the 5th of July, that temporary light as they uh, remove the bridge on uh, on 443 that goes up over the mountain. And then the final thing I have uh, this morning, just to save the day, uh, in July is our annual butterfly tours that we open up the grasslands uh, in the training area for those interested to come and visit and take a look at uh, the last area of the Regal Fritterly butterfly uh, east of Indiana. Uh, it's at Fort Indian Town Gap, and we do this annually. Last year, over 500 people from around the world came. Uh, that'll be the 1st and 2nd of July, Friday, Saturday, and then the 8th and 9th uh, of July. So stay tuned for more information on that and the exact uh, process of where to meet and then for the transportation out to the Gap. Uh, in addition to that information, I just wanted to highlight the cooperative project that we started with Zoo America uh, in 2011. It's in the fifth season of this uh, partnership of, of raising the Regal Fritterly Butterfly and releasing it to new areas of Pennsylvania. Uh, so in the fall, last fall, uh, there were female butterflies taken uh, to uh, Zoo America. Uh, they've been uh, taking care of those and once the eggs hatch into Calibrate Caterpillars, they'll be distributed throughout the area in Zoo America's labs. Uh, and looking to at butterfly houses in the area and as, and other active reintroduction sites. It's a partnership with Zoo America and also the Pennsylvania Game Commission with funding coming from uh, the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Wildlife Resource Conservation Program. So the 1st and 2nd and the 8th and 9th of July, the place to be is looking at butterflies at Fort Indian Town Cat. So pending your questions, that's all I have this morning.
Anyone have questions for the colonel? Um, I have none. Johnson. Um, <clears throat> people just show up for those tours or is there any registration involved? Uh, there's no registration but we'll have information on where to uh, uh, assemble and then there's a bit of a safety briefing on, on you know and activities and, and walking through the areas the area and an introduction to the area and what you'll be able to see so if folks like us on Facebook uh, Fort Indian Town Gap that information will be out and as soon as we get the specifics of where to assemble will get that uh, out to everyone. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'd just like to say thank you. Wow, that was a really packed full uh, of information presentation. Very succinct and uh, informative. Thank you.